All right, guys, welcome back. This is my old Michigan. ORV Trails 2016 it is. Uh, what day is it? Like the 2nd of September, I think? I'm having a lot of fun. Really dusty, though. Super fucking dusty. They're letting me take the lead. It's kind of ludicrous because I kick up the most dust. Just gotta be weary of pedestrians. She's running good though. She is definitely running good. Yeah, it was funny because uh, I've been looking for some races, you know? And uh, we come across these two Banshees. Both had pipes, two me T5s, whole shots, you know? Sounding real good. At least the one was. It was sounding really good. So my uncle's like, go talk to him, Josh. So I went up to him. I was like, yo, what's going on, guys? The kid's like, oh, nothing. I'm like, yo, uh, Banshee sounds good. Is it fast? He's like, yeah, yeah, it's really fast. I'm like, oh, really? I'm like, you ever race the Raptor 700? He's like, yeah, I race those all the time. I'm like, and? And he's like, I smoke them. I'm like, you smoke them? He's like, yeah. I was like, all right, well, let's set up a race. He's like, okay, sure. I was, and he had a helmet cam as well. He didn't have the GoPro, but he had a helmet cam. And uh, I was like, you got a YouTube channel? He's like, yeah. I'm like, so do I. So, so uh, I was like, well, we're going to go get a drink and a bite to eat. You know, when we come back, let's run them. He's like, yeah, cool. So we get done. I see him. I flag him down. He goes and parks his quad, walks over, him and his brother or his friend or whoever the fuck it was. And uh, he's like, oh, I just come to look at the quad. I'm like, oh, okay. He's like, what you got done to it? I was like, nothing. It's, uh, you know, pretty much stock. I got aftermarket rear tires. I went up one tooth in the front sprocket. And, uh, and I removed the rev limiter. That's it. He's like, oh, okay. I'm like, so where's your quad? He's like, oh, we can't race. I was like, why? He said, oh, my exhaust is messed up and something's wrong with my chain. But he's been he's been riding it all day. You can hear him. He's heavy on the gas and ain't nothing wrong with that fucking thing. He knows he would have got fucking smoked by the fucking Raptor. Now, not on top. Not on top. You know, uh, we all know Banshees have a greater top end than these Raptors. So... pretty much made a whole bunch of excuses as to why he can't race me even though we, we all know he was scared of that 700 I mean like I said no doubt he'll get me out the hole and he's like yeah he said something he's like yeah you, you can't you can't do any better than this two stroke power I'm like oh really I'm like is that so I'm like, yeah, well, you know, you might have some power to the ground, but mine's all torque. You know what I mean? That's what I love about these four strokes, man. You know, my Uncle Gene, before he uh, before he had the 450 YFC, he had a two-stroke dirt bike. And I was telling him, you know, for the longest time, bro, you got to switch to these four strokes. He's like, nah, you know. I'm like, I'm telling you, you got to. The torque is crazy. You know, and they're just, they're reliable, man. Especially if you take care of them. And you don't got to be wrenching on them all the fucking time, you know. And so finally he ended up buying one. And he bought that 2006 50th anniversary YFC 450. And now he boarded out with the Athena, the uh, Athena Big Bore kit to a 490. Aftermarket cams and whatnot. Full exhaust. And he went down, or he went up two teeth in the front, down two teeth in the back. So that bike is geared all for top end. So.
So he's fast. He's doing he's doing close to 100. That bike will do close to 100 mile an hour. I guarantee it. Cause I can do 82 now. And granted, he gets up there faster. But that bike, that bike ain't no joke, man. So. You know, I love these four strokes. No mixing gas. You know, ain't got to worry about fouling plugs. Got reverse. You know, this Raptor is, she's pretty heavy. You know, but luckily I'm a strong dude. I can still throw it around a little bit. It's, I don't know, I, I love it, man. Over these whoops, you know, I seldom have to get up off of my seat. I mean, I still do, obviously, you got to, but. Like over the big ones, I do. But you can just, you can just chill, man. It's like a, it's like the Cadillac of the sports quads, man seat is super comfortable almost reminds me of my banshee seat i think the banshee seat was a little more square though and i think the banshee seat had a little bit more foam padding but it's definitely really plush man it's something i like you know because if you would have talked to me in 2012 i'd have told you fuck a raptor you know i ain't buying a fucking raptor and And uh, I would have been like, nah, if I get anything, it's going to be another 450. And the 450s are nice, man. Don't get me wrong. They are, they are beautiful machines. But I don't know. Something, something just told me to get this Raptor. After all, everything I was reading about all the changes they made to the 15 model, 16 models. You know, I just just wanted one. I don't know. I like the idea of having reverse. I do, you know, I kind of, I kind of wish it was dual overhead cam because the power would just be insane if they could do it right. But second, secondly, or on second thought, you know, having it single overhead cam means I can wind these gears out and keep it on top for long periods of time you know I can keep the throttle pinned for a long period of time which is good because that's exactly what I like to do when I'm able to of course beautiful weekend man now stay tuned because I almost sound like CT Fletcher right there stay tuned motherfucker feast your motherfucking eyeballs on the motherfucking Raptor 700 <laughs> now um, uh, in two weeks from now I'm going up to uh, the UP 